Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to tell you how a photon is produced. Now, in an atom, of course, we have a nucleus, but above the nucleus we have electrons. And it was discovered last century, the 20th century, that electrons can't have any levels, they can only have specific levels of energy. And we've called these E0, E1, E2, E3, E4. E4 is bigger than E0. So what happens is the electrons can go from one energy to another as the material warms up. So the energy increases or decreases. Now when energy increases, you put energy into the atoms by heating them or doing something else. But when the electron, say in level 2, falls down into E level 1, we can see that there is a difference in energy. And the difference in energy here would be E2 minus E1. So there is a change in energy. That energy is lost. So where does it go? And the answer is it goes into a photon. So a drop in level, say from E4 to E3, the energy associated with that is E4 minus E3, and this gives a packet of energy, which we call a photon, which is described as H nu. H is a constant called Planck's constant, after a gentleman called Planck. So that's Planck's constant, H nu, H, and nu is the frequency. This photon is in fact electromagnetic, electromagnetic radiation, and in fact is or can be light, visible light, so the electron can actually glow and give out a visible light. It might be x rays, it might be Infrared, it might be ultraviolet, it can be any of the electromagnetic radiations. But the photon depends on how big the change is, and the changes can be of all different energies. So it will give out all different wavelengths and frequencies, and all different types of light. So briefly, that is how a photon is produced.